Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Extinction. I got a trap made today. We're gonna be attempting to tame one of the flying ferrets. So as you can see behind us, I got a behemoth gate set up with pillars and ceilings. The plan is to get some aggro on him. Get him in here. Kite him through. He shouldn't be able to fit through that one little opening. Shouldn't be able to. Get around this way. I'll sit down, freeze him so he can't attack me, and then run up, close the gate, and we should have him trapped. That's the plan. It's probably not going to work out that way, but we're going to try. Only thing is now we got to figure out which one. That's a 75. There's a 75, a couple 15s, and then a couple 150s. It's been, uh, been quite the task trying to get that thing built over here with everything that's been around. I cleared everything out a couple times. But, oh, it's a Perlovia. But things keep spawning. Oh, dude, that's kind of a weird colored one. So there are some event team colors around. What was... Dude, it's so hard to see what level stuff is. These guys just zoom around like crazy. That's a level, a level 15. Or it might be the same one. I don't know. But while I was building that, a couple in-game days passed. And, dude, there's like these weird ghost uh, wolves that were around. They like glow and everything. I don't know. We'll have to take a look at those sometime. It's a level five. All right, let me try to find one of these higher level ones and then we'll try to get it over towards a trap. All right, man, so we got aggro on one of them here. Had aggro on one of them. Dude, it's like the other day when I was taming that snow owl, I couldn't get him to leave me alone. And now I can't get him to, to keep aggro on me. They keep attacking all the wildlife. Okay, let's get rid of this one. So he doesn't kill it. Now he's got aggro on me. Get rid of some of that. Oh, come on, man. Dude, unfreeze me. There we go. Alright, just follow me over to this trap, man. Yeah, see, he keeps going airborne. There we go. Come on, dude. We're almost there, man. Oh, get over here before that other one comes. There we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Oh, wait, what? Okay, he's still in here. Cool, let's close the trap. Is he stuck? Oh, nice. All right, let's get some darts in him. Hopefully, we don't get aggro from the other one. Saber should be on passive. I should be able to get my saber out now, actually. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice. I, I feel safer on him. Dude, getting him to actually come over here. Holy crap. Hopefully, we got enough darts. And hopefully, that's a 150, because that level 15 was still around here. They are ugly looking. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying. Oh, please don't glitch out through the ceiling. I'm kind of worried when he goes to run. I don't think he can fit through the one ceiling tile, but, you know, it happens sometimes. Please don't glitch out. Oh, man, it's another one. I don't want him. Oh, man, I'm going to have to take everything out around here once he goes to sleep because I don't want him to damage this one while it's taming. Oh, he's trying to run. He must be close. Come here, dude. We're almost there, buddy. Oh, dude. Nice colors on him, though. The, the purple. Need some shocking trank darts, man. I don't think there's any biotoxin on this map, unfortunately. To make any. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. So he's down. So let's take a look around. We good? I think we're all right, man. 
Dude, that's awesome. I'm worried about this one over here. Let's take this one out. Just to make sure he doesn't fly over here. Oh, it's another 150. Where are you at, man? Hello? There he is. I didn't realize our health was so low, man. I can't believe I ran from that one. <laughs> when we were doing the snow owl. Alright, let's get over here, throw some food. I got some prime meat for him. They prefer lamb, but I didn't get any. I've only got that one lamb that I found back at base, and I don't want to kill it in case I can breed them. Let's put some raw prime meat in them instead of the cooked. Should only take a couple pieces. And then we'll throw some... Actually, let's just put the whole step. Oh, wait, that's him. Nice! Dude, that's awesome. Okay, cool. So let's cryopod this. I did actually make a saddle for him, which I know, I know. I actually remembered. Doesn't happen often. Let's get this gate opened up. You just stay there, buddy. I hope their health isn't too squishy. Oh, it is. Okay, so he tamed out to be a 224. It is a male. Four, uh, 4,900 on the health, 1,100 on stamina, weight is 510, damage is 370. Oh, we got a movement speed bonus, 158.5. I don't know if that's normal for them. I've never tamed one, so I don't know what their normal stats are, but I think with him, we're going to have to put a lot into stamina. So, these are all new mechanics that I have not played with. Oh my gosh, he is fast. All right, let's get out of here, see what he does. So that's a regular. Okay, so we do got the breath attack. And that drains stamina like crazy. Say, well, let's grab these couple event things real quick. I set up a cooking pot back at base. And it is, it's a bunch of skins and stuff that you can make with those. And then I think you have to kill some of the ghost animals. Oh, okay, cool. So he has the, the jet feet. So what happens if you run out of stamina on the way down? Does he take... He doesn't take fall damage. Interesting. I mean, you wouldn't think he would, seeing how that's how he... He is. Try to find something to throw this uh, ice breath on. See what kind of damage it does. Dude, he is fast, man. Holy crap. This might be our new permanent mount. Oh, and you can, you can do side strafe too. Whoop, we're out of stamina. Well, we're out of stamina, which is not a good thing. And there's a pack of wolves. Tell you what, speaking of stamina, put that one point into there. Let's get out of the snow biome. So he doesn't do too much damage with the ice breath. Doesn't do too much damage, period. Looks like AoE, though. Dude, we're in a bad spot. Oh, give me up on this. Yeah, we are really, really going to have to work on his stamina, man. Holy crap. The ice breath is pretty cool. If I could ever get some stamina back. Oh, man, dude. Give a guy a minute. Flying ferret against flying ferret, man. So our damage is only 129. That's something else we're going to have to take up. I don't know. I'm guessing that will scale our ice breath as well. Let's take this guy out and we'll see. I'll tell you what. So that's 129. Let's go ahead and put one point into damage. Yeah, so it does take that up some. Wow! That actually stacked like crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh man, nine points. Holy crap. All going into stamina. Every bit of it. Well, we'll put one into there. That's not bad, man. We might be able to use him for resource farming too because his health, I mean his health, his weight is actually pretty decent. 510.
Dude, it's like a little Gatling gun, man. Doesn't freeze him for too long, though. I like it, though, man. I like it. I always avoided these because I thought they were kind of annoying, but it seems like a pretty decent team. I want to try his jetpacks out real quick again when, when our stamina gets full. All right, so we can go up, and he does side strafe too. But man, does that use a lot of stamina. Awesome. Well, we have us a new flying ferret. Pretty, pretty weird tame if you can actually get him to not get stuck in the ground. <laughs> if you can actually get him to follow you into a trap. But, gonna go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.